Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah and this is my channel, Novel Serendipity. My first vlog in a long time is up. It's active. Only 28 views because no one watches my vlogs, but that's fine. I don't really do anything substantial anyways. But this vlog is going to be going until the end of May. So the next like five to six days. I was going to start my vlog yesterday, but just wasn't liking any of the clips that came out. So gave myself a day off. But I will update you my reading from last night. So yes, I made it here, which is page 97 of Cinder. I am really liking it. It's fast paced enough that I feel like it's action-y even when it's not. I love those types of books. And we are following Cinder who is a cyborg, so like half machine, half human. And she is currently living on a futuristic earth. There is like a plague going around. Yeah, it's killing people. So here we are. Really, really enjoying where this is going, except I have no idea where it's going. I love that. The next read, I got to page 35. So I read the prologue in chapter one, and that is Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson. I honestly have no idea what's going on, but I like it. I didn't really read the synopsis of this, which is cool, cool beans. I also really love this cover. And so far we have Vasher and he is, I don't know what he is, <laughs> but he just stole breaths from this I don't know. I think he was like some rebel that was captured and he had hundreds of breaths and each breath is like power to like put magic into items. Like he turned his scarf into a cloak or something. Um, He made straw into like this little guy that got the keys to get him out of prison. Like all this happened within the first 35 pages, but here we are. He was the prologue. I really like his character. And like the magic system of like breaths where you use it until like it's not like until it's gone and how that's kind of where your magic comes from and how vividly you can see color. So a lot going on there. I'm probably butchering the explanation, but here we are. Here is Havoc. And then chapter one was pretty much following a girl and her father and her sister and it's this neighboring kingdom and they are in like this alliance or treaty where the king has to send his daughter for the past like 22 years he was gonna send his oldest daughter but that's his favorite so now he's gonna send his youngest daughter which is like you know when parents are like we don't have a favorite, but like we all know that parents have favorites. This, <laughs> this guy is like, you know what? Viviana's my favorite. I'm going to send my youngest because I don't give a shit about her. So see you later. Also, she'll probably die. And we're sending her to a murderous king who's probably just going to knock her up and then kill her when the time comes for him to invade us. So bye. <laughs> I'm just like, whoa. So all that happened within 35 pages and I am super intrigued. And then I have Fury Born. Last night I got to page 338 and Elena is, she is like starting to like feel or remember things from her past. I think everything's going to come to light real soon. I have a rough guess of like who she is and what she is, but one, spoilers in case you haven't read Fury Born yet. And two, I might be wrong and I don't want to embarrass myself. Myself. Um, and then Riel is in the past and she is, um, she's playing with fire. That's all I'm going to say about that. She's playing with fire, but, um, yes, here we are. Need to make a good day in this as well today. And then last night I almost finished Fable and got to page 270. I am literally almost done and will probably finish it tonight. I love this book so much. I'm thinking I'm going to go to the bookstore today and buy this and book two because I want them in my collection. I can see myself rereading this series. I am just, I'm in love with this book. It is so good. Where we are in the book, Fable finally caught up with her father and that reunion wasn't exactly what she thought it was. And so now she is about to um, hit the high seas again. So 
I, her father, her father. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So her crew finally knows who she is. And that was, that was a good time. But yes, I'm, I'm really liking it. I'm about, I need book two and book one in my collections. So I'm going to be unhauling a bunch of books in the next month or two. And I just really need to fill my bookcases up with books that I know I just absolutely love and adore and could see myself rereading. That is, that is my end goal for my bookshelves. So not that bookshelves are ever done, but here we are. Today, I need to read four chapters of Cinder. I need to catch up from last Thursday, which was two chapters of Fury Born. I need to read two chapters of Warbreaker, and then I want to finish Fable. So yeah, here we are. Oh, not Fable. Two chapters of A Heart So Fierce and Broken, because I'm also reading that. So Fable isn't on my list, so I'm going to try to read all of my Thursday chapters so I can just sit down and finish Fable. But that's kind of my goal. I am about to go get my hair done. The green is fading. Where is she? Where is she? There she is. The green is fading and I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. I don't know if I'm just gonna go back to like my natural like black or if I am going to get the green touched up to like a bluish teal and then my yeah I don't know. I'm just gonna trust my hairdresser to take care of me. I trust her with my life. So here we are. Uh, this was a really long first vlog clip. I feel like all of my first vlog clips for vlogs are all really long, but uh, yes, here we go. Hello, I am back from my hair appointment and I have my hair back to like my really, really dark brown, almost black. And I got my green touched up to blue. Look how pretty it is. I love it. Hi, hi, yes, what are you doing? But, <laughs> what are you doing? But we have to go grocery shopping tonight. So I have to make a list and um, then we're gonna go grocery shopping. So, will you follow me over to this chair? What do you want? I already fed you. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> so, uh, yes. Did I, ever tell you guys, did I ever tell you guys the date? It's a uh, Thursday, May 27th, in case you were wondering. I just worked on my um, reviews for fanrank.com. I am helping the UK creator out with their new website. It is a review site where all the reviews for all the different mediums are all in one place. So like books, music, movies, TV shows, uh, games, so on and so forth. And so I am doing reviewing and helping with like build up the database. So check that out. The link for that is going to be down in my description box. If you make an account, follow me, and even write maybe a review or two, um, that would help me out a lot. If I can get people to the website, get people to follow me, get people to write some reviews, I might get like a raise or a small raise, so it would really be helping me out. Even if you just spent like 20 minutes kind of going through the process, that'd be fantastic. I was doing that. I'm gonna write some book reviews on Goodreads for some of the books I've read in May, so I need to do that. I wanted to write maybe two or three tonight, and then I'm going to start with the these two books because these are the two books I need to finish by the end of the month so I only have four days. A Heart So Fierce and Broken I am almost done like I was saying. Press I have the majority of the book left but both of these are really fast reads and so I want to make semi dent in them and then kind of move on to the other books that I'm reading this month but these are my two Naruto TBR books that I need to finish. And then I did start editing a video before dinner so I was doing that and I do need to write a script for the announcement video 
out for my read full metal full metal alchemist reading challenge i will link the twitter for that down below because that announcement video is going to be posted on june 1st so i need to film it tomorrow before work and then edit it and get it kind of like published and ready to go and all of that so tonight is gonna be kind of busy it's already like 7 41 but i don't really go to bed until like 3 a.m so here we are but just in case i oversleep tomorrow i do want like the script for that video like already ready to go so i can just sit down and record it before i go to work so low stress or as low stress as possible because i need to spend most of tomorrow saturday and sunday after i finish editing that video just reading because i'm a little behind on my reading i'm on track for what i said i was going to read but i kind of underestimated how much i should be reading a day if i want to like finish all these books so this weekend is going to be interesting and it's just gonna be me reading non-stop so enjoy the rest of the vlog hello it's friday i have to work today but here havoc and i are i just went to dunkin donuts I got this blueberry lemonade refresher and I'm not sure if it's maybe like the toothpaste in my mouth a little bit still, but it kind of tastes like cough syrup and I kind of probably recommend the pink lemonade one over the blueberry one, but that's just me. Also, ready have it? Dun, 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 dun. I love Dunkin' Donuts. Beep. Okay, those were delicious. I haven't had Dunkin' Donuts in so long. We just got one in the city other day. I'm still unsure if I like this. Havoc's like, you talking to me? Okay. Okay, as you know, I'm reading all these books. And last night I read at least one chapter of each one. So one chapter, I think I read six chapters, five chapters, two chapters. And then I finished Fable. I loved Fable, okay? I gave it five stars. I love this so much, like so much. I'm so excited for Havoc to hit his toy around. Um, I'm so excited for Namesake. I bought Fable and Namesake at the bookstore yesterday because I need them on my shelves. This is a book I would definitely reread. So it's one that I knew I wanted on my bookshelf. So finished Fable, I gave it five stars. It was absolutely amazing and, uh, I'm gonna talk about it more in my May wrap up at some point next month. Um, so stay tuned for that. But this is a new fave. Like I really, really liked Fable. Furyborn. Sounds like Elena is finally um, figuring out who she is or she's being told who she is. I've kind of seen it from like 200 pages ago, but um, I'm really excited for her to figure out who she is. Yeah, so here we are. Also, Riel is um kind of getting into trouble. And uh, yeah, it sounds like Riel is just a big old troublemaker, but here we are. Cinder, huh. Cinder is being stupid. I can already tell you that. I'm not very far into it. Well, I made a pretty good chunk yesterday. I got to page 129 and I marked up um, all these books for the books I wanna finish by the end of the month so I can stay on track and definitely 100% finish them. So I read a little bit more of Cinder last night, like I was saying, and um, Cinder is being stupid. A doctor basically tries to kill her and then he's keeping secrets from the prince who has only treated her kindly, but she's just like, Let's have this like mad doctor scientist um, basically try to kill me, do experiments on me, and then I'll just sit by and let him lie to the crown prince. And um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, oh my gosh. In a few chapters or by the end of the book when she's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe the evil mad scientist doctor did that. I'm gonna be like, bitch, I don't wanna hear it. That's my thought on that. Heart so fierce and broken. Gray and Liamara got to where they need to be. How do I keep this cryptic enough so I don't give away spoilers? Yes, Chase, I know I paid my bill. They got to where they need to be and I am hoping that they don't get stabbed in the back, but Liamara now has to watch her sister flirt with Gray and Gray, I don't know, stand by and try to pretend that he's totally not in love with Liamara, but I'm super close to the end. Look at that. So, <laughs> We'll see. And here is the last one. I read one more chapter, which is chapter three, page 43. And I am really like, this is my first Brandon Sanderson book, like I was saying, I love the writing style. And the story so far is super intriguing and I'm really, really enjoying it. And the two sisters that we are gonna kind of be following, I think in this book, 
are so incredibly different that I think it's going to make for a really interesting plot line and the character development, I hope, since these characters are so different and are both so outside of their comfort zones pretty much, that we have really good character development. But I am really excited to see where this goes. I think out of the four I'm still currently reading, Warbreaker is the only one that I don't plan to finish by the end of the month. The other three I am planning to. So this weekend and tonight, I really need to like stay on track. But I read a couple extra chapters last night of all these books and I finished one. So my list is getting a little smaller, but I am about to go do my makeup, fix my hair just a little. It's actually looking pretty good, even though I slept on it. I don't know, like when my hairstylist does my hair, it like stays like perfect curly locks. Even after I sleep, I curl my hair and when I wake up the next morning, it looks like, I don't know, it looks dead. So here we are. Um, I'm gonna go do my makeup, fix my hair just a tad, and then I need to film two videos before work. Sean is gonna get home about 11.30, and so yes, I am on a time crunch. I work at one, so I should be fine, but I am going to take my blueberry lemonade that slightly tastes like cough syrup and go do my makeup. Sometimes I feel like, oh look, <laughs> there's Naruto. Sometimes filming is just messy, messy. Like, why? Like I have my notes, I have more notes. I have one of my TBRs, my drink, my library TBR, my TBR from May. I haven't finished two books and my new TBR. And uh, <laughs> yeah, when you're filming videos, you just have a pile of books everywhere. My hand is shaky, my phone is so heavy and my pinky is not that strong. Okay, two videos filmed. Did I update you on that yet? I don't even remember. Um, I'm about to head to work. So I have the rest of my drink left. I'm doing it so slowly. I need to fill up my water because I'm super thirsty when I'm at work because I'm like sweaty and moving around and gross. So here we are. And I can't forget it today. So here we are. Tonight after work, I think Sean and I were gonna go grocery shopping and then I need to edit and schedule a video for tomorrow. So need to stay on track because I have a schedule that I need to follow. And yes, yeah, so I need to actually edit a video tonight and get my reading done. So wish me luck. Okay, I uh, washed my face, took a bath, um, and now I'm currently reading A Heart So Fierce and Broken. And Grey is at this like neighboring kingdom that is not, like the queen's not great. I think I've spoken about that. Um, but anyways, Conquering Queen. Maybe I spoke about it in my last vlog. Not great. If I remember correctly, she showed up or was spoken about in book one. But anyways, um, he's there and they are not going to like him very much going forward because he is not letting them control him. And that is the sole reason they even let him into the country to begin with. So I feel like he's about to get himself into trouble, but really enjoying that he's sticking up for himself. Gotta love it. So here we are. Ugh, it's stressing me out. the 29th it is saturday <sighs> last night i finished a book let me get it okay i finished a heart so fierce and broken okay and i can't remember what i said in this vlog and last vlog about leah mara trusting her mother and me saying how she was going to be surprised when things went wrong and um no spoilers but her mother totally stabs her in the back and i'm just like wow <laughs> not even surprised but when we got to it, when her mother stabbed her in the back, I didn't think that she was going to stab her in the back quite as brutal <laughs> as she did. And I texted Jade and I was like, my mouth just would like, it just fell open like a damn cartoon. And I'm pretty sure I sent her a gif of uh, a cartoon character's like jaw just dropping. So yes, here we are. <sighs> The ending of this book. I had other things I wanted to say about this book real quick, even though I'm going to be doing like a wrap up video because I'm going to start doing those again. But I adore how this book and how Bridget Kemmer really, 
Her characters acknowledge when other characters are being hot garbage, but she also doesn't diminish the trauma and the pain that led to them acting like that. And I appreciate that so much. Like, I don't feel like a lot of characters do that. And then just how she uses fear and how like fear is such, it's like one of the strongest motivators as human beings that we have. And I love that theme in this book. Like it's fantastic how fear is pretty much stronger than any other emotion that we have, including love. Like the things we will do when we're afraid is is different and on a whole other level. So I love this book a lot. Um, I'm going to be writing the review. I have bad posture. I wonder why. Slouches in chair. Um, so yes, here we are. I wasn't going to finish this until Sunday and I finished it last night, which was Friday. So I am a couple, I am behind on my other reading, but I was ahead on that. So I have Fearborn to read tonight and I have Cinder to read tonight and the chapters from yesterday and today. So I think it's like 100 pages each, roughly, if I'm just estimating. I'm going to be focusing on these. Luckily, both of these have been a really quick read thus far. And I found that once I get into like the rhythm that I am just like good to go. And then yesterday, while I was at work, one of my holds came in at the library where I work. And so I got A Taste for Love by Jennifer Yen. So here it is. It's a really, really cute. From what I understand, it follows a girl who she doesn't want to follow her mom's mold that well, like her mother has like made a mold of how she wants her daughter to live. And there's a bunch of like cultural stuff and heritage and like all of that kind of in play with this book. And the one thing that she has in common with her mom is baking. And so I'm pretty sure she enters a baking competition or something like that. I think it's something to do with college. And all the all the other contestants are all age-appropriate males for her that her mother basically set her up. The one thing that she shares with her daughter is baking and she basically entered into a competition and her mother has all the other contestants basically as male prospects. And so it's like a bachelorette baking competition book. <laughs> It just seems super fun. And they're holding boba. I don't love boba, but I find boba so aesthetically pleasing, if that makes any sense whatsoever. So got this. But besides that, yeah, yesterday that's, I read the last like 200 pages of A, Fe a Heart So Fierce Unbroken, and that's all the reading I did. So tonight I need to do that. But one of my videos went up, my TBR for June, my Naruto TBR. And then today I also need to edit my announcement video for the next Full Metal reading event. So um, that's going to go up on June 1st. That's going to come up before this comes up. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. It starts in July and it goes through August and September. So if you like Full Metal Alchemist, check it out. like how that looks. Anyways, yesterday and last night we had people over. I didn't get very much reading done. I got to page 166. So um, I have quite a bit to read today and tomorrow, but my parents are coming. They're staying the night. We're cooking out tomorrow. So um, probably tomorrow after they leave, I'm really gonna have to just buckle down because this has to be done by tomorrow night. What are we doing? I don't know. <sighs> but anyways, here I am. Hello. I'm gonna update you in my closet. I have my smoothie. Mm. Okay, so it's technically June 1st right now, but last night I finished my last Naruto TBR adventure game book at 11.59 p.m. 
with one minute to spare. So I finished my May Naruto TBR. Here it is. I gave this five stars. I was thinking about taking off a star because it felt so predictable at times, but it also didn't feel predictable at other times. Like I was, I equal parts guessed what was going to happen and was equal parts surprised. So like, I don't know, uh, it's hard to explain. Like when I guessed something on like page 10 and it happened like 200 pages later, so I was like, yeah, okay, obviously. But then there's some other things in this book where I was like, oh my gosh, I'm intrigued. I didn't see that coming. So here we are. Really like the characters. The prince is a breath of fresh air. Like I like that he has an attitude when he's with like other like foreign, like dignitaries and stuff. I don't know. The way that he just speaks his mind and he doesn't necessarily play into the game of politics and the mind games that go along with it was just really nice. Um, I really like Cinder and I think I like the doctor but don't quote me on that just yet. So finished it, really liked it, gave it five stars, maybe four and a half stars but I don't know, five. That is my second vlog for May. Look at me go. I don't know if I'm going to vlog in June yet or not, but if you would be interested, let me know. Okay, I have to go to work. June 1st, here we come.